And we're back. Last nine minutes of the Lee W. Mallon Show. A show that was born in the fall of 2006. Or you can say in June 1988 because this show has been about my musical tastes and stuff I found interesting. So we are down to the last eight minutes now. Mm-hmm. And we just played Pseudo Echo with Funky Town, Sting with Fields of Gold, and ABC Be Near Me, the Munich disco mix. Just got a call from the sports director, Brandon Kunkel, saying that uh, my uh, my pick of Funky Town sucked and I should be fired for it. <laughs> so that's pretty much my shout-out to you, Brandon. Brandon will be broadcasting the game tomorrow. It's the men's team versus the Milwaukee Panthers. Game time starts at 7 o'clock here on 106.9 WWE. Uh, yeah, WWSU. Uh, very tough Milwaukee team. Uh, they started about 0-3, oh, 0-2. Oh, they had a rocky start, and I think they finished uh, They finished uh, our conference about 500. But if you're going off that for research, I'm just going off what I remember. Wright State, 7-6 and six after a very tough loss to a Charlotte 49er team. A four-point loss after Wright State had a 13-point lead. That was a heartbreaker. Yeah. I, I Actually, that was the day me and Justin were calling the UCF game. And I kept checking. It's like, Wright State's up by 13. All right. And I'm on the way to turn on West 35 from mm-hmm. Dayton. They lost by four. It's like, what is this? Oh, man. No. <laughs> so the Raiders are undefeated at home, so that's a good thing. And they're 0-1 in conference play right now with a loss at Detroit. So with that being said, it's time for Wright State to buckle down and get ready for the Horizon League because there's only one more out-of-conference game, and that's the Bracket Busters, to be determined in February. And it depends on your RPI and how well you're doing, so mm-hmm. watch out for that. Yeah. And it's not going to be Ohio because you can't play the same team twice one year. But Ohio's coming to the center next year. Oh, wow. Yep. So with that being said, I'm going to play the very first song I've played on my show. This was from November 17th, 2006. Actually, I take that back. I think it was... A f- no, I guess it was 17th. And... I've been trolled countless times. I've been made fun of countless times because I love this song, and I played it every week. I stopped uh, around junior year because I said, you know what, I'm tired of it. I'm tired of it, I'm tired of it, I'm tired of it. So I stopped playing it every week. I played it every now and then. Someone called me up and said, well, this song sucks. Why do you keep playing it? And no, it wasn't anyone here. At least I don't think it was. Uh, So... It's on the air one more time. I think it's still on automation. Hopefully not. <laughs> but uh, it is uh, Sly Fox Well, Let's Go All The Way. It was a one-hit wonder for the band. It was a duo. Uh, Gary Mudbone Cooper, and I can't remember the name, and I'm too lazy to research it. You do the research. This song is 5 minutes and 8 seconds, and I'll be back with a very special message for everyone. So, listen for the very last song of the Lee W. Mallon Show. Sly Fox, Let's Go All The Way, WWSU 106.9, Fairborn Dayton, where the Raiders play. Stay tuned.